it's that time of the year again yep today we're going over 10 gift ideas that you can give your creative friends family or even to yourself you can give to yourself you deserve it stay tuned gift numero uno extra battery you can never have enough batteries so you just have to look for a third party vendor that has a good quality good reviews so that you can use in your camera and just load up stacking batteries you can never have enough batteries numero dos a lens and camera cover as a photographer or, or filmmaking you're always losing this not only it's great for covering that lens from dust and that sensor it's also great for storage you know you can keep your sd cards in there it fell yeah you can keep your get your sd cards in there some screws some extra tools that you might need when you're out on a shoot or maybe a set of gum whatever and that brings us to gift idea number three one of these babies and sneak card it's as simple as that they can run you from six dollars all the way to like fifty dollars depending on the storage on the speed the usual that i would recommend getting 64 gigabytes and the brand sandisk i've never had a problem with sandisk they never go corrupt at least yet and i hope they don't so they're very, it's a very reliable brand i go with the extreme pro because it's the sd card that's the most compatible with my camera you just have to do your research because you see all these little numbers like u310 yeah all that has a meaning so just make sure that it is the best fit for the camera that you have or that your friend has got it moving on to product gift idea number four manfrotto little tripod this little guy came in my life in a very early stage in my career why because i decided to buy this because it's very like it's tiny right so it has a rotating head so you just press this button and then the head moves everywhere so you could just take a selfie piece and then take it flip this right here and just like you know hello it's our vlog hello world hello youtube i'm chilling here with the click the click i don't know i'm not a vlogger i tried though i'm a fan but yeah this will run you for about 20 bucks it's great for the size this is the smallest one there is one that like extends and everything but this is great on the go it has a really small print in your bag and you can barely notice it's there so yeah it fits great in your hand yeah i don't know it's just great and cheap and it just doesn't draw much attention item number five Wah! is this little poofy thing well it's not this even though this would be great if someone had a microphone that didn't have a dead cat this isn't so much for photographers but more for video people this is the movo 4.1 i think this will go for like 40 bucks i bought this early on in my career as well because i didn't want to invest much money but i think i'm gonna get a better microphone now but you are listening to me right now in this microphone the movo 4.0 this is how it sounds this is it comes with the deck cat a little windscreen here this is called a deck cat that microphone will go for like 39.99 at the time that i bought it but it might have gone up in price or lower maybe there's a sale on it and yeah it just goes on top on the hot shoe mount and it records great it's automatic it's always good to have an external audio recorder you know this is a great option or if you want slightly better quality go for the rogue mic a mini I think it's called it goes for like fifty dollars but it's the exact same thing um yeah next on the list is an external hard drive and i have a label right here it's already full this is a one terabyte cost me like 59.99 at apple these are great but there are definitely cheaper choices out there in amazon you can look since this is rugged you know you can throw it and like whether this has been through everything this is like super dirty this is since it's rugged these are pretty expensive but i've seen some pretty good ones for like under a hundred dollars this is a lazy so it's supported by apple so that's why it's kind of more expensive but i've seen hard drive for the same price as this with more stuff so it depends on your budget this is a lifesaver when your computer runs out of space this is a great tool to have and I already need a new one so this is in my Christmas list Three, four, five, 
6. Número 6. Is my kicker light over there? So hold on a second. This, this, this. A photographer. Ooh, the flare, the flare. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, this a little LED light. This is only a daylight. It's very simple. I talked about this earlier on in a video. Just I'll link it up there. Uh, but yeah, this was 40 bucks. It's good for video and photos. So like, if you're in like a dark scene and taking pictures, and you just put this in your on top of your hot shoe mount, and then you just adjust it, and then you that's it. Or you could just have it off to the side and taking pictures like click. But don't use the in-camera flash. Don't use that ever. It, it looks horrible. Item number eight is, nonetheless, that a lens. A lens is usually very, very more, way more expensive and out of people's budget. But I actually found a really great lens, 35 millimeter for under a hundred bucks. When I bought it, it was at $80, but I recently looked and it went up to 99. So yeah, maybe go get it before price goes up. The Young New 35 millimeter lens, I did a review on it. I will link the video up here so you can go watch it and then make a decision based on whatever you see and it's great for photography and video lenses are always a great option also i would recommend getting the 50 millimeters because that's a great portrait lens number nine is one that i just recently purchased it's a monitor these things don't come with batteries usually so if you're gonna get it be also be kind enough to get batteries they're like 20 bucks monitors are actually a great investment but i would not recommend that if like your friend is just starting out it's just gonna be more complicated to deal with monitors and more stuff this isn't touch screen but it has a, a lot of like buttons and commands that you can control through your camera and it has AV, HDMI, an AV port, headphone, OSD controller, and a USB upgrade. For 94 bucks, this is monitors you don't usually go under 200 And when I saw this at BH for 94 dollars, I was like, yes. Moving on. Last but not least, gift on our list is a book bag. Not just any book bag, it's a camera bag. But I highly recommend this book bag because this is for like a hobbyist that loves photography or filmmaking that wants to take their camera everywhere but also wants to carry more stuff you know like for everyday use it has a little side packet here this comes out with dividers you can have your camera there your lens this it comes with three dividers but i decided to customize it like you know free camera bag it has the velcro thingy and you can like fix it however you want you can fit up to like four lenses in there i fit up to like five lenses in there on the top right here regular space like for food or your notebook and back here we have like for maybe notebooks or your 15 inch mac or just any laptop and here on the side it has um a usb charger thingy this you plug a portable charger inside and then in here your iphone or whatever you need to charge and it comes with like a plastic so if it's raining but yeah it looks pretty cool and obviously like an extra packet here was my very first camera related backpack i do not regret buying this because it has it has done its job if you guys want a full review on this let me know comment down below i will actually go in depth on how you can use this like because i've taken this like literally all over the world mexico italy australia and just just this just this with a lot of stuff so if you guys want a in-depth review of this bag let me know and i will gladly make one just let me know in the comments below if you guys want any in-depth review of any of the items that you've seen and i will gladly do so and and since you guys are still here i am going to give you a bonus gift idea i think thank pouch for your sd cards you know though those sd cards get lost pretty easily it's good to just have one of these little pouches just in your bag because you have important stuff you have all your work there your footage you don't just want to throw that sd card anywhere what if the readers get scratched and then all of your footage is gone what are you gonna do huh this little pouch keeps it there protected and this was about like 13 bucks it's not that expensive and it has a kind of cool look to it that is all you guys thanks for watching the links to all of these items are gonna be 
down in the description keep in mind there are affiliate links so if you guys use this link to buy it i might get like a five percent kickback at no extra cost to you so yeah I'm a, you know, I need, I need money. Yeah. If you don't, that's okay too. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you, this was useful to you. This was helpful. And hope to see you in a great video. Peace.